Hey everybody, it's me, Remy the Comic Book Poser, and I'm here to welcome you to Enter the Poserverse. We got not just some more goodies from Ziggy over at the Nostalgia Source, but we've got one of my big two grab books from the year of our Lord 2023. So to see what we hit and to see my big pickup, you'll have to check it out after this. Okay, so I picked up a bunch of stuff up from Ziggy over at the Nostalgia Source, and he was running uh, a wheel game in addition to some other things that he had going on over in the shop. So I have a bunch of raw books, and then I was able to pick up not just one of my two get books of the year, uh, but in a really, 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 really good graded condition. But before we head on over to the fancy cam so I can show you what we got, if you thought about hitting that subscribe button, we're on that road to 1500 and I'm building that giveaway pile as we speak. So without further ado, let's see what we got. So I picked up a handful of things that he had running on his wheel. <laughs> and then <laughs> uh, this was when I was trapped at LaGuardia and I asked Zig how much he loved me. And he was like, oh, a lot. Uh, and I picked up the book that I did, and uh, you can see how much he loved me spread out across the sheet. Uh, so he's getting ready to run uh, one of his level two giveaway raffles when he'll also send out uh, books and stuff if you did not uh, hit the, the prize. So, so I'll show off some of the raw books that I picked up uh, from his, you know, different level or his different wheel spin uh, options, and then uh, I'll show you the big book. Uh, so uh, while I have not read the new Deceased run at all, I think that I stopped with whatever was just after Unkillables was that Dead Planet. Uh, I'm a sucker for Purple Rain homage covers, so I think uh, I actually like the way the glare showed up on that one because it looked like it was coming off the headlight, but you've got that one. Uh, you've got Green Lantern Mongol number one from Rebirth, Green Lantern number 21, uh, Goddamn the Virgin Brides issue number two. Uh, so I actually missed that issue because this is the follow-up to The Goddamned, uh, which I had not read. So I picked up issue one uh, and then forgot to put it on my pull, and then I picked up from three on however long it went. Uh, here we've got uh, Cannibal, issue number one, and I like the styling of this. Looks like a, an old school pack of cigarettes. Uh, we've got Lost Soldiers number one, uh, and I've actually got three or four copies of this. That This was one of my favorite books that came out in 2022, uh, so there's a good chance that this is going to go in the uh, one of the options for the member giveaway for this month. Uh, we've got Jerry Duggan on uh, Deadpool. We've got Civil War 2, issue number zero. Uh, oh, I missed this one. Batman the Merciless, number one, a foil cover, and it's a tie in to Dark Knight's Metal. We've got Guardians 175. I like that book. Uh, this is probably also going to go into a giveaway pile, vinyl issue number one. Uh, this is from the same team that, I think the same team that did Plastic, uh, and now has, I think it's Plush that's out. Uh, so just some good creepy uh, serial killer action. Uh, we've got issue number one and two of Rick Remender's Tokyo Ghost. Uh, I missed those when they came out, and I think I snagged it for like three bucks. Uh, another good steal I've got, uh, I'm trying to double up on some of the lower numbered issues of Something is Killing the Children. Uh, so here's the sweet Something is Killing the Children number 10, I think. This is one of the first fuller early appearances of the dragon, uh, but I also think I'm wrong on that. But I like how we can see his cane, we can see the House of Slaughter tattoo on his hand. Uh, we've got one of my favorite books so far, 
Uh, this is Nottingham issue number one, the second print. We've got Haha, ha, some W. F. Maxwell prints action. Uh, this is issue number five. That was a series that I was sad it was over, but it found a good way to end in its own chaos. Uh, we've got a second printing of Mark Millar's Nightclub number one. We've got the Giant Size X-Men uh, number one, the uh, Tribute cover. We've got uh, Ten of Swords creation. And that's part one of that whole event. Uh, and then he had a Women of Marvel run, so there is some Gwenpool. There's a beautiful Electra cover. There's X-Force number 13, and then uh, from his raw wall, uh, I won a wheel spin and picked up Invincible Returns issue number one. So, <coughs> while all of these raw books are cool and some of them uh, check off some different needs, uh, or I know there are things that I can do with them, like put them in giveaway boxes, uh, I my goal for 2023 has been to collect... Uh, first appearances of the various female Marvel characters that I absolutely love, and I've been focusing on uh, women of the Spider-Verse, right? I've got my... Um, why can't I think of it? Uh, Marvel Spotlight, I think it's 32, which is the first appearance of uh, Spider-Woman. I've got her first cameo. I've got her first solo. And I've got, moving into Silk, I've got a couple of copies of the first appearance of Cindy Moon, uh, but what I did not have is Amazing Spider-Man number four, the first appearance of Cindy Moon becoming Silk. And uh, while there's been a lot of speculation around this title, especially because of all of the stuff that's coming into the next, you know, Across the Spider-Verse movie, uh, and all of that, that you've seen this book price shoot all over the place. And I will tell you that I think uh, Zig had this very fairly priced up on his auction, and I think uh, it's lower than I've been able to see it anywhere else. So I was able to grab this quick, fast, and in a hurry, but I was very excited to cross another key off my list, and I don't think I ever did a video for the year, but I'll try and add somewhere into the frame here my list of big books to find so what do you think did i get a bunch another crop of home runs from zig over at the nostalgia source as always you should check his stuff out on instagram uh and i've got his whatnot link in the description down below but let me know what you think in the comments anything uh you see from this pile that you want let me know i can put it off to the side uh but this silk She's staying with me for a long, long time. So as always, y'all, thanks for stopping by, and have a good one.